Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of His name. Adore the Lord in His holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders, in his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. A voice from the heavens said, This is my beloved Son. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit, all wisdom is God. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways, he clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both men and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall, flung down they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. 
who shall not glorify your name, O Lord. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels, chant to the Lord with cymbals, sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God, O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth their spirit, you sent forth your spirit, and they were created. <clears throat> No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Though the sweet odor of every sacrifice is a trifle, and the fat of all holocausts but little in your sight, One who fears the Lord is forever great. Woe to the nations that rise against my people. The Lord Almighty will requite them. In the day of judgment, he will punish them. He will send fire and worms into their flesh, and they shall burn and suffer forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? From him and through him and to him are all things. Amen. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten string lute sing him songs. Oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his words to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he soars of the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot say. The Lord looks on those who revere him, 
on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine our soul is waiting for the Lord the Lord is our help and our shield in him do our hearts find joy we trust in his holy name May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. From him and through him and to him are all things. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans. You know the time in which we're living. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep, for our salvation is closer than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in daylight, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual excess and lust, not in quarreling and jealousy. Rather, put on Christ, put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Mode 7. Vadis adur Christus, et sanctificatur omnis mundus, et tribuit nobis, remissionem pecadorum, aqua et spiritu omnes purificam. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
The dawn from on high shall break upon us To shine on those who dwell in darkness And the shadow of death And to guide our feet into the way of peace Glory to the Father and to the Son And to the Holy Spirit to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Batizatur Christus, et sanctificatur omnis mundus, et tribuit nobis, remissionem peccatorum, Agua et spiritu omnes purificans. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, hear our morning prayer, and let the radiance of your love scatter the gloom of our hearts. The light of heaven's love has restored us to life. Free us from the desires that belong to darkness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and And with with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go into peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, Eternal, Eternal fruit, fruit of his bosom, bosom source, source of all life and of all truth. O oh, oh, beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O oh, beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus is crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart. We beseech you, you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Apocalypse, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Therapy, in Mary, Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother and Mother. Thank <laughs> you.